What's going on guys, Casual Savage here. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do this. I teleported from there to here and now I'm back here. Let's get into the tutorial. So here we are in Vegas Pro 16 and first of all we're going to go over the setup on how you should film this effect. First of all it doesn't need to be on a tripod, then you want to record the background without you being in it. You also then want to change the preview quality to best and full and you simply want to select save snapshot to file which is going to be a screenshot. <clears throat> now I'm just going to call mine background, just going to overwrite the one I already had. Then you want to drag and drop this underneath your video and simply drag it across. Then we can go to the part where we start, which is going to be right here. So I'm just going to play it through and find the point where I want to teleport. What's going on guys? Casual Savage here. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to... So right here, and all I'm going to do is press S on my keyboard and then we can trim everything on the right up to where we start talking again. So first of all, we're going to be working with where you disappear and then I'll show you the reappearing part, but it's super simple. Now in the description, I will be providing you a link to download this explosion green screen and what you want to do when you first open it is trim it down. So find where the explosion happens, which is going to be right here and then find the end of it, which is right there. So I'm going to press S on my keyboard and delete that remaining. And then this is now what we're going to be working with. The first thing we need to do is definitely remove the screen background. So in order to do that, head over to video effects, select chroma key, and just drag on the default. Then you want to select where the color is, select the color picker and select the background. Now this is currently what we have. However, we will be coming back to this in a little while and you'll see why when we reposition it. So for now, X out of it. And now this is where you find the part where you want the explosion to take place. So I click my fingers right there and then of course this is where we want the explosion to be at the highest point which is going to be there. So all I'm going to do right now is line that up on that part. Then of course we need to readjust the explosion so to do that head over to motion track. I recommend you have lock aspect ratio and scale about center checked and simply scale this up. And then you can drag this over to yourself and as you can see, this bar has now come up and you can see it's got a really bad tint around it. So just before we actually position it, this is what I wanted to show you, we're then going to head back over to the green screen. So select the effects button and where it says low threshold, just bring that up. As you can see, it will diffuse that tint just like that. You can X out of it and head back over to the motion track and we can continue to reposition this. Right there, you just want to, at the highest point, you want to make sure you're completely covered. So if I play it through now, just change that back to preview and auto. That's now what we've got. So it's really slick. And of course, once this explosion comes in, what's essentially happening, this video is going to end and the background is going to take over. So that's all that's happened. Now, something important to note, once the explosion happens, you can see that this extra stuff takes quite a while. So just press S on your keyboard, hold control from the end and drag it in just to make it a bit quicker. Then to make yourself reappear, you want to find that part and just simply put it back in where you want to reappear. And what you're going to be doing is essentially the exact same thing. What you can do is hold control and select both of these, press control C. And important to note, you will need to do this on another video track and press control V. Now the reason it's on another video track is so we can use the motion tracking and it won't mess up what we've done with the other one. So once again, find the part where it's at the highest explosion, which is going to be here. And we simply now want to line this up with the beginning. So you can press S on your keyboard here and simply drag it back. As you can see, that is now synced in right at the beginning of our video. So from here, head over to the motion track again and simply scale this up. And again, cover that area right to here. You can X out of it and just playing it through. Do this. I, I come straight back into the shot. So if we play it from the What's beginning, so we disappear 
and then do this. I just had a thought of one there. we reappear. Now the final thing you do have to do to make this effect sound and look better is of course sound effects. So in the example you saw at the start I actually used two different sound effects. I used an explosion and I also used uh, like what's called a magic sound effect. So I just basically merged them together. So I will have them in the description for you and this is the magic sound effect. You can see there are four different ones. And I'm going to use the end one, so I'm just going to press S, delete that, and drag this over to our first uh, disappearing trick. Now this part's really simple, all you need to do, you can see the sound gets louder right uh, in the center, so what you want to do is basically line it up with this. As the explosion's full, that's where you want the middle of the sound to be. So if I play that through now, this is what we'll get, just like that. And then it's really simple, you can just press Control C. Control V to paste it over to the next size, do the exact same thing again, right in the middle to where the explosion is in full, playing it through, that's what we get. Then of course right click and insert another video track, audio track I should say, and then this time it's going to be the small explosion. This one's going to be a lot simpler to uh, sync up, so all you do again, find the part where the explosion is full, which is going to be there, and simply line that up with the explosion sound. And same with the other one, line up with the explosions max, and like that. So I can play this through, and this is it now completed. And that is it. That is how simple it is to create a teleport effect in Vegas Pro 16.